Looking at next year, it seems from the outside because you've got two of the big three, and there is a big three in this championship, they, two of them are changing teams next year. Even the best of them might take some time. You must be looking at it thinking, oh, that's, maybe those first three or four rounds are my best chance. <laughs> and then who knows when you get one? Yeah, yeah, that's another breakthrough. I didn't actually really consider it, but that is a good point. I mean, I'm just going to keep focusing on my stuff and, and trying to make the bike the best that it can be for me, and who knows? Who knows? Right, so for a while, it can be a little bit slick-ish. Yeah, I was so, about that. The first test I ever did on a World Super Bike, I crashed right here on the last lap of the second day. Destroyed a bike like I've never destroyed a bike in my entire life. <laughs> it was so bad. The frame was cracked, the engine cases were cracked, uh, all the electronics were completely ripped off the bike, the forks were snaps. Like, I felt so bad for GRT and for my, my boss at the time. And he was probably thinking, like, what is this guy? <laughs> Who is this guy, you know? <laughs> sector one, I struggled with sector one, which ended back there. I don't know, after walking it, I still don't know what to do. Um, I also struggled coming into the pits and having to see them. I thought I'd talk to them. That never goes well. Garrett Gerloff, Manny Kurs was your best weekend so far this season. Pole position, two races in the top five. You did a test here in Motorland some weeks ago. Confident for this weekend, Garrett? Yeah, I mean, it's been amazing, like last weekend at, uh, at Aragon, or last, the last race at Aragon. It's just nice when everything comes together, like we, we know it can, and immediately you're, you're in a different, it's like a different category almost, you know? Changing the subject, you will have a new teammate in 2024, Scott Redding. Thoughts about him? I like Scott. Um, I've known him from a long time now. I think 2013 was the first time I met him at Colin Edwards Boot Camp in Texas, which is pretty funny. He rode my 125 that, uh, that weekend, so. Anyway, I've known him for a long time. He's a, he's a good guy and definitely a fast racer. It's gonna be good to see see him stay on BMW. I am really sad for, for Loris though. Loris has been an amazing teammate and, and friend, you know? And so to see him have to be moved aside, I, I feel really bad for Loris because I think he deserves, you know, the best. Um, so I do wish him all the best in whatever he decides to, to do next. <laughs> he's riffing, bro. <laughs> yeah. What's the plan? Undetermined. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> no, we're gonna go out four laps, have a bit of a chat. Six laps, new tires, P1. Oh, good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we tested here a couple weeks ago, and it was like. It's okay, but was it? Well, I don't know. This guy might disagree with me, but I didn't think it went that well. I thought it was kind of like I didn't feel like we made a bunch of progress. I feel like we tried a bunch of stuff and got some info, but didn't really, like, really move forward at all. But then we went to Magni Core, and it was like something was working right away. So I mean, uh, I'm not discounting this weekend. Yeah, we're on. Yeah, like I said, I told you I'm not discrediting nothing. This guy's already thinking that I'm I'm not being negative. I'm just looking at it like... Sad and negative. No, it's not sad and negative. No, no. <laughs> it's no. Right thing I mean. Starting to act like a Brit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, Brad. You might get some enemies saying that. <laughs> Brad. Just remember who's in charge at this side. <laughs> Back to the room and I was talking to Loretta up first. Oh. Finish time in there. Oh, with him next to you? No, no, nothing rude. We're no, chatting we're away. Good. And then she goes, yeah. as if he could hear, she goes, hey, is that where's Wally? <laughs> <laughs> I said, he can hear. She goes, what about a whisper? I said, yeah, but you're on loudspeaker. I'll be first for sure. I feel like I'm, I'm dropping 
the bottom real quick now in some of the uh, transition and change time. And I'm starting to feel like I just don't have that much damping. I feel like more of this was, was, a, what was, what was really benefit. I mean, I felt like I was able to hold the line a little bit better through the faster corners. So then it's, it's, it's a little bit worse because I lost, I just kept losing the rear more. All right. Was that? Well, good job. Well, really good. Yeah, sector one thing, bro. Why was sector one better then? Do you think? I just feel like it's a big difference between. Yeah, but obviously we were still struggling to be in sector one of the test. I don't know if the sector point was at the same spot. Like I don't know how much of a difference of a difference that would make, but. Well, do you think it helps you the fact you've done laps with less grip? And then suddenly oh, yeah. you get the benefit of the I would grip. say I would say yeah probably. The back uh, feel then because that changed so much. Did you change anything with the front? It didn't feel like it. it felt like the front was. Uh, yeah, I closed the compression five clicks and put two mil preload back on. You want the front not to die this quick? No, it's not that. It's when I was going through like eight and nine on before the run before. I would just get to the to the middle of eight, and I kind of give it a little bit of gas, and then to the break as I transition, and I just felt like I went to the bottom and then back up and then down to the bottom, and it was like wallowy. It's like I just had, didn't have any damping. Did it feel the same then? It didn't feel as as abrupt, but I also felt smoother, so I didn't know if it was actually a difference or if it was, I was just riding a bit better. Garrett, as we talked yesterday, my new course was your best weekend this season so far. After this solid Friday, you think it's possible to improve it or at least equal it this weekend? My main goal is to equal it. Our, our top five would be amazing, like would be super good. Uh, this track is, is not easy for, for me, like I said, um, but I'm feeling good right now, so that's that's positive. That, that, the big steps forward you made in the last couple of rounds, is this more because you feel well, it's working? Well? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it's that. I mean, I have an awesome team and super good environment. We're constantly making improvements and I'm feeling better and better on the bikes. And when it all clicks together, it just really clicks and it feels, yeah, it just feels good. I think from outside that your happiness is a perfect for every team. So every team needs a guy like you that smile and like, come on, guys. Oh, well, dude, we're racing motorcycles. Uh, like, it can't get much uh, it, better. So I mean, it's even, not, even it's a shit like, day is better than a lot of people. So. I know, I know, but it's not like, it's not like this for a lot of people. See you, bro. <laughs> hold up, hold up, wait, real quick. Just wanna let you guys know that I do have merch available. I know you guys have been asking about it. It is available, but it's not on my website. No, it's at defileodds.co. Really cool company that has a lot of other products also. But they got my merch. I got this sweatshirt and a couple of their t-shirts. This one's pretty sick. Number, American flag, gotta have that. Texas license plate on the hood, pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, go check it out and love you guys. There you go. <laughs> also, use code GG31 at checkout for 10% off. But don't tell anybody, okay? What's the plan for FP3? Very top. Yeah. We haven't topped a session yet today, this weekend. Hey, you see how expectations just feel <laughs> happiness? <laughs> He's good, this guy. Know. Expectations now through the roof, so. Right, yeah. <laughs> you can't go back. <laughs> you just gotta keep climbing. <laughs> What's that about? Did you pass the ball down the street? I passed it down the street. You pass it. Yeah, I passed it on the street. Then I came in. <laughs> It was funny because the random out was trying to get the drive on this and drive on your ass. It just turned in there. <laughs> Oh, 
Olivia Newton John. And he goes, What? Well, says she wore a hairband too. <laughs> I still don't get it. But good for you. Well, it's a bit of an insult, isn't it? She was a woman. I said she wore a hairband too. I bet she was a good looking woman too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she was. I said this is the most nervous I've been all year. Why? I don't know. I've got something to prove, haven't we, Brad? So it's yellow flake there, huh? Who in the pit? He needs to box now. He might box oh, his last battle. I mean, it feels okay. Yeah, but it was just weird. Here, it? Well, I just had to close the gas and then get back on it on the back straightaway. I need to have them yell at me at first. Yes, he will. <laughs> this has been a really frustrating weekend after Magni Core. It's always difficult to go from a weekend that's just like better than you can almost imagine to a weekend that, that goes like not as good. Oh no! We suck again! There's just been some things, I'm not gonna get into it, but it's uh, been difficult to work this weekend for a variety of reasons. I mean, I feel like we did the best that we could with what we had. Felt good in Super Bowl, even though the the position wasn't great. It was still my fastest ever lap time here at Aragon, so that's like one one small positive. And so close to the guys in front, it was only like one tenth um, from sixth place. Cl I had clutch problems on the start yesterday. That sucked, went backwards, but ended up going forward in the end, eighth place, all right, top 10. 
you know, I'm happy for the team. That's what they want is, is top tens at the very least. Today in the Super Bowl race, man, had an awesome start. Like I was super pumped about that. Was able to like ride around the outside of everybody. Got up to six, but then I just struggled to, to maintain that. I just, I, I didn't feel bad on the bike, but I was just missing something compared to the guys around me. That was disappointing. I ended up fading back to ninth, but still I gained one place for the for race two. Race two, I had another good start, but I started from the inside and the first corner here is like it tightens up so much that going on the inside and then trying to hold the line and, and then people were passing me on the outside like I did in the, in the Super Bowl race. I, I ended up um, losing positions. I, I just didn't feel good on the bike today. I really struggled with the front and especially in the, the first part of the race when everybody had new tires, I was just struggling, man. So. In the end, three top tens. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, I want more than that for sure. I know we're capable of more than that. We were the fastest BMW for whatever that you know means. But I'm ready to get out of here and go to the next race in Portugal. Luckily, I only have like four days to wait until I get to ride again, so that's nice. In the meantime, I think I might have to talk to my boy George and find out some more information about Moto California. And actually, did you guys know that George is coming to the next round in Portugal? So we might see him on the next video. Anyway, listen to other me tell you guys about it. <laughs> you know what? Being at the track is nice and all, but you know what I really need? A luxury motorcycle tour from Moto California. Moto California has two locations, one in Los Angeles, California, and Florence, Italy. One of my favorite things about Moto California has to be that you unpack your bag one time. There's nothing worse than going to all these different locations, having to pack, unpack, all the whole time. Basically, you go to your luxury villa, unpack everything, and then you're free to go explore all the amazing roads around Los Angeles or Florence, Italy, whatever you choose. Everything is included. Your luxury villa that you stay at, your private chef with all the food that your heart desires, the gas, your motorcycle insurance, uh, car service, really, it's all inclusive. If you guys want more information about Moto California, I encourage you guys to check out the website, motocalifornia.com for more information. What's new? Nothing, I'm dying. What the f are you doing? Are you joking? Mm. I'm waiting for you. Fucking piss tank. I'm getting old. Get him, Andy.